So ask yourself this question, what is the next higher level of abstraction beyond things like JavaScript and Python? And then if you have that higher order abstraction, where does the code come from for that programming language or those programming languages that can then train the AI so they know how to program in that language? I know where it comes from. It comes from the software developers. It comes from the humans that will then learn those languages, understand them at a very deep semantic level, and then write the code that will then be used to then train the AI so then they can produce it en masse. So yeah, I think that it's becoming more and more clear to me that as the AI movement moves forward with software code generation, there is a direct correlation to necessitate the increase of software developers for minimally, we'll add this third one, to valued for writing novel code in new programming languages that uh, do not yet exist. Examples of that, Mojo. What is this other one? Zig. I think that's like a new one. Rust. Here you go. I'm just giving you a list of some languages that are like relatively new-ish that like can these AI systems write code in uh, Mojo? I don't know. Uh, Rust, I think, but I, maybe Zig? I I, that's not entirely clear. So now you have three different things that uh, these are these are AI specific uh, tasks for human devs. And then this is for like production quality tasks for human devs. And there's probably more, but right, like this is just off the top of my head when I start to think about this. And you'll notice that without the AI movement, in my mind, all of these are less in, they have decreased magnitude.